Hey, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> I'm live again. I'm trying to rotate my, uh, my camera here. It's not allowing me to for some reason. So we'll just keep it this way. What I did notice with these live videos is the video quality isn't as good. But oh well. Got the second box in from Aqua Decor. Excited about it. Hopefully I get your guys' messages. Not sure how this works now that my phone won't turn, it won't turn sideways, but I'm not really good with this stuff for some reason. But uh, I got the rest of my sand in, which is cool. Before we do the sand, or I mean the sand, before we do the unboxing for the Aqua Decor background, I wanted to talk about the sand a little bit. I had a couple people ask me about it. If it was a uh, planet for planet tanks or for uh, you know what it, what it's for, and technically it's for anything. The sand is uh, neutral; it's a pH neutral. What that means is it doesn't raise your pH and it doesn't lower your pH. It just stays exactly where it's supposed to be at. Now in this tank right here, my pH is always at an eight point zero. Uh, it comes out of my tap at about a seven point six. And one way to try to get to know your pH a little bit better is to, what, what I like to do is, what I've learned to do over time, is take a glass of water, you know, run, run your water for, for a couple seconds, and then fill up a glass, test the glass, let the glass sit there for 24 hours. Don't do anything to it, and test it again. I can almost guarantee your pH will read completely different than what it did 24 hours later and it'll either raise and sometimes it'll lower in my case it raises from a 7.6 to an 8.0 and that's one of my main reasons for not worrying too much about the sand uh, i did buy that malawi buffer victoria buffer which i don't find myself using at all only because I, i've seen a lot of videos about people chasing ph and uh and I've seen a couple of videos of people talking about people chasing pH and saying that it's just not worth it. You're better off having a stable environment for these guys than to try to chase something. So that's pretty much what I do uh, with this sand. It's a neutral. So if I find that it's raising too high or too low, uh, if anything, I, I would have a problem with the pH being too low. So my plan would be to, sorry, my, my dryer's running in there so you might hear it a little bit. But my plan would be to hang bags of crushed coral inside of this chamber here. And that's another nice feature about these chambers that Aqua Decor gives you. Uh, you can do different things. I requested a 6x6 chamber and their, sa their standard chamber size is a 4x4. So I'm able to hang different types of crushed coral or whatever I want to hang in there in order to be able to raise the pH if I have to. Uh, that's that's definitely an option since my sand won't be a pH razor. It's just a pH neutral But I want to give a big huge shout out to aqua decor something I just noticed is this chamber on this one is painted and If any of you guys end up watching this or are watching this and you've watched my previous videos on aqua decor backgrounds uh, You'll notice uh, this chamber over here Is uh, it's unpainted and during one of my reviews, that's something that I had mentioned. I wish they would have painted that chamber. Uh, not that it was that big of a deal because it's behind the tank. Uh, so they went ahead and corrected that without me even asking, which is nice. So they pay attention. And if you do watch this aqua decor, thank you very much for that. Uh, my plan is to black out this whole side of the tank right here. And I'm going to stop it right there. This way I can still view in here. Um, if I have to put crushed coral, if I ever have a, a fish that needs a timeout, I can stick him in here as long as he's uh, got adequate enough room to circle around. But those are all options you have with ordering these backgrounds. Uh, Jimmy H, I'd like to give a shout out to him too. Really cool guy, you guys should check out his channel. He's building a pretty big tank. He's in the process of setting that up and he had ordered sand for his tank. He has suggested the Sahara sand. Uh, I was going to go with that. The only reason why I didn't is I wanted to stick with the theme for this tank. I've mentioned that once before too. This 
these rocks have an orangey tone to it and I couldn't find a sand that I liked that would uh, go well with this with these colors uh, so I searched and searched and this is what I came up with so but I'd like to thank you again thanks Jimmy uh, but yeah check out that with your pH it's something that uh, that I didn't, I didn't know about uh, I didn't know it can raise and lower just by putting like, a glass of water overnight and that should give you a good indication on what it will do as a whole inside of these bigger tanks uh, other things will affect it you know your fish your freaking sand your backgrounds or whatever you have in your tank everything there's other things that can affect it too but like I said that'll give you some kind of a good indication about that but let's get started here this uh, I took the plastic off only so I can get these sheets off uh, which had my address I'm sure you guys don't want my address and if you do you're creepy <laughs> but uh well, let's go i've been waiting i ordered this back in october and uh they, they shipped everything out hey what's up aquarium show <laughs> they shipped everything out uh on november 7th i received the first box they shipped two boxes out i received the first box on November 19th so that was pretty fast and uh, they beat their last time when they shipped this back run out hey <laughs> so this one got stuck in customs I don't know why it was held up but it was uh, no big deal I, I probably messaged aqua decor numerous amounts of times and again if you're watching thank you for all your help and thank you for being patient with me because I'm very impatient and uh, I just kept getting worried I was this I was that and they helped me through it the whole time and finally came in today so all that uh, all that worrying for nothing but let's go I might not do the entire unboxing uh, might just unbox this uh, last time I tried I tried unwrapping all of these pieces but that was more or less to show you guys how well they pack these uh, by no way was I mocking them by their the way they were wrapping so I don't know if you guys understood what I was doing with that but if you didn't um, the whole reason why I was unwrapping it the way I was last time is I wanted to show you they do not play any games when they send these over to you they they take care of uh, their shipping so the whole time when I was worried about this they kept saying you know if there was an issue don't worry we'll send you a new one we'll compensate you will help you well you know they, they were very very helpful with my stress level of not having this when i thought it was going to come in but uh but yeah it came in so hopefully everything's good to go can't say i hope it's in one piece because it's obviously going to be in pieces <laughs> if you haven't watched my channel before and you're going to watch it now you guys would or if you did you guys know I'm terrible at unboxing so just kind of bear with me but there, there will be an end result <laughs> and I will give you guys a full update on this all right cool so opening this and seeing this when I first open it makes me extremely happy this is awesome this is the netting they now include I wrote or I did a review on this and in the review, I've only complained about two things that I that I was negative about, and I probably shouldn't have been. I don't know if I was really that negative, but it was negative enough for them to want to fix it. They painted the back of the new one, and right in here, you guys can't really see it, right against the glass, in between the glass and the background right here, there's a gap, and it was small enough for some fish to get through, so now they, they give you guys this netting that comes with it, which is awesome. So you can take care of those those issues. So this is probably what I'm going to use that for. Let's see, it might it might just do the trick. Cool. But you can also put this on the walk you guys over here. You can also put the net in inside of the the holes that they make. They create so the water flows behind into these chambers. You can put it on there so none of your fish. Or if you have fry or anything get back into there so that was a very cool thing they did and uh thank you again they take the reviews and their business serious and that's that that's proof right there so but check this out let's uh let's remove this paper 
hopefully, uh, hopefully I get all the papers out and there's nothing with my address on it once again. But all right, some uh, some boxes they just created for help pack pack it in there. I'm gonna take some of these pieces just right out of here. Like I said, I don't know if I should. Maybe we'll do one or two of these pieces. That piece is huge. If you guys hear that? That's my son. It's almost time for what time is it? Nope, it's not time for bed yet. He's got about another hour. He's in the bath right now, though. <laughs> but, uh, these pieces are pretty huge. Wow, look at this. I'll probably open one or two pieces, maybe, for you so you can see, and then I'm going to stop and maybe just record or pick up after I uh, go live again after I finish opening these, because... If I open these with you guys here, it's going to take a very long time. If you watch my last videos, you'll, you'll understand. They pack these things very, very well. This is a bottom rock. Cool. You can tell because it's a little hollow inside, purposely. Get some more papers. I'm going to turn the camera away for a second. There we go. If you're wondering how these backgrounds come this is this is a very good video for that because this is exactly how they come and they are all the way on the other side of the world from me and check this box out this box was stuck in customs and it came in better condition than the first box which came three weeks prior so you just never know all right this is the biggest piece that was in here But that's all that was missing from this. Been driving me crazy trying to, or I've been waiting, and I got to get this tank back off of here and get it all set up eventually. I do know they recommend after you get the background and you open all of this stuff up. So if you do end up ordering one, don't just jump the gun and try to glue it right to the back of your tank right away. You're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to wait. Let it acclimate. Give it, give it four or five days and then and then go ahead and get it on there. You know what this is? This is a sticker. I put one on this, the trim that I made for this tank. I'm gonna end up putting this one on here somewhere. I'm not sure, but it'll go on there. Let's see, I'm gonna go through these, uh, these papers and see if there's anything. There we go, yes. All right, right here they show you the instructions i don't know how good quality this is like i said when i go live the quality isn't as great and right now my my phone is elongated so I normally have it turned sideways but for some reason it's not going sideways so i apologize for video quality but you guys will get a review and a taste of what this whole background is going to look like at some point when i get it all put together and uh yeah I'm going to try to take you guys through the whole process this time. This time I'm going to show you guys me gluing it on here and getting everything back on top of the stand here and put together. But, all right, let's open one of these pieces up. If you guys are still here and you want to leave a comment, which piece do you want me to open first? I don't know if it even matters to you. Anybody? <laughs> biggest all right turtle you got it uh well this one is the longest it's not the widest though but it's the longest so so that one <laughs> aquarium show was about to say that we have that piece and it looks like this piece which uh so we're gonna do this one two or three so three Two or one? Which which piece you want me to open first? Pick a number, one through three. What's up, guys? Sorry, my uh, my camera was giving out there. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. I can't turn my phone sideways again. Let's see what you said. Two. Okay, so number two, one, two. All right, so we'll go right to two here. If you guys are still there, I'll wait a second. I apologize 
my uh, my connection failed for some reason. It normally doesn't happen, but it's cool because it said it popped up and it said restart app. I restarted it and then YouTube put something on there and said resume, so I resumed it. All right, so I have one of you back here. Apologize. Uh, for some reason, my app restarted, but I see you guys said number two, so I'm going to do two since there was two of you watching. <laughs> That'll work out. This is going to take some uh, some time. Like I said, these things are really, really on here. Uh, I have an idea for this, actually. So let's, let's stop a second here. Move this one over. Bring this one over here. And I have... Where did I put it? Sorry. I have this thing I can hopefully attach my phone to. I can attach it. I can give you guys some kind of a better view of this. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to open this stand up and try to clip this on here. Take you guys through it with me for a second. If it'll stay, probably not going to stay, is it? Nope. Nope, not going to stay. So that one won't work. I really got to get a tripod. <laughs> keep telling myself just get one just get one okay that's not gonna work at all whatever uh, we'll still do it this way though uh, this seems like it's the back of the piece so there you are I just ordered one today well congratulations aquarium show that is awesome man I wouldn't suggest doing this I'm only doing this because I've gotten different backgrounds before so I'm gonna do it like this just so that I can speed this up a little bit hopefully we'll see if this works for some reason I, I think it's gonna work but I don't know how safe it is to do something like this with a razor blade but I've gotten some backgrounds from them before and uh, trust myself there we go we got the second second viewer back in here or a new viewer sorry I lost you guys I some reason it gave out happens to do that every now and again not sure why this is gonna be a lot faster than un unraveling this whole thing so as long as you guys can bear with me it'll be faster <laughs> waiting on mine to come and, and you can't wait nice man yeah i'm excited for you guys too you guys gotta post videos of it let me let me check it out when you get it all set up or unbox it you know i never thought i would be on here doing this whole camera thing and youtube thing and i just for me i like doing it because i can look back and uh and see my progress and different things when my son gets older, he'll be able to check it out. And but do you guys plan on doing any unboxings or showing uh, showing your background when, you, when it's there? I'll show mine. Cool, man. I was wondering if I was I was wondering if you ended up ordering one or what. I know you asked me the cost of mine, but you know, I giving you a cost of, of what I paid and what you pay could be completely two different things. You might pay more, you might pay less. It just depends on what you're asking for. You know, I I didn't want to indirectly answer that, but I think the best solution was to just have you go right ahead and try to uh, get a quote for one, you know. No problem, man. Yeah, this is... You'll see what I'm saying when you get yours. This is crazily packed. Purposely, they have to protect this stuff and it takes a while to open it, but we'll get there. You guys are going to be pretty much staring at plastic for a couple minutes. <laughs> so I can get this to a good point here. Alright, 
Okay, so we got this end coming off here. Oh, I'm gonna. I plan on. Uh, I gotta. I gotta get my brother and a couple people here to help me get that tank down because it's a. Uh, it's a little heavy for me. I have some medical issues with my back, so it's not that gonna be that easy for me to lift that off of there. But once. Uh, once I get this out, I'm thinking maybe by next weekend or before, I'm gonna show you guys a video of me siliconing it onto the tank. That way it'll, it'll help you too. I mean, if you're, when you do yours, you'll be able to uh, get an idea on it. This is, thought this was gonna be easier. I don't know if it, was, if it was a smart thing to do. Maybe I should have just unwrapped it. Yep, there goes the phone. <laughs> Probably won't be the first time I do that here. But do you guys... Uh, did you guys get your silicone already for your background, or are you, are you still trying to figure that out too? I could show you what I'm what uh, what I'm gonna use. It's the same stuff I use on the 125. Which do you recommend? All right, so how about this? I'm gonna open this piece up and I'm gonna show you exactly what I use. This way, you can screenshot it, or when I upload this video, you can. You'll always be able to look back at it and say, hey, you know, that's that's what I need right there. We're almost open here. Just got to get this part cut off and you got to be able to get this out. So bear with me a couple more, a couple more seconds. Probably going to turn into minutes. Apologize. There we go. Okay. Oh, nope, I gotta get this part off now. See, the loop is gonna turn into minutes. You guys got any other questions about these backgrounds? I remember when I was getting, when I ordered my first one, I just I had so many questions. Or, I mean, Aqua Decor does a great job at answering them mostly, but. There's always questions where you just feel funny asking and you're just not sure. So if you got any of those questions about this, let me know. How much does that piece weigh? Uh, I'd say like three pounds. Uh, definitely no more than three pounds. They're, they're really light. Heavier than uh, heavier than the one that went in the 125. Almost done here. Sorry, just bear with me a little longer, and uh, I'll stop shaking this camera. It's going nuts. I promise you, sometime I will get a freaking tripod. Hey Jim, how are you? Thank you. All right, so we got the piece off. And there it is. Throw this in there, and hold on, let me, I gotta put my comments, let me see, hide them for a second so I can get the better view on the camera here, there we go, I can't rotate the camera, this is so annoying, uh, there we go. That is a huge piece. Turtle, I know you said you, uh, you have a 125 coming, and uh, and Jim, I know you have a one. I think it's a 150, so it's a little taller. But this will kind of give you an idea of uh, how big. I can back away a little bit. How big just one of these pieces are for the 220? Uh, takes up quite a bit of space. 
I'm gonna give you something to uh, compare it to. I'm not sure what kind you guys ordered or how big yours is gonna end up coming, but turtle. Uh, what what kind did you order, man? Did you get a C? Did you get an A? Did you get a? What'd you end up going with? You did a custom. Nice, man. Nice. One twenty-five, Jim. Yep. Sorry about that. A two rock. And then tree trunks, nice. Yeah, the tree trunks are nice. They're really nice. I wanted to get a couple of the branches that they make, but I think down the road I'm gonna end up doing something different and getting, venturing out, out that way. Some tree trunks and some branches and it's a really cool. Aquarium show, you still here, man? What, uh, what background did you end up ordering? He might have took off on us. A few more pieces. <laughs> I can get this thing put together. Really excited. You said, I, I order a tripod. You ordered a tripod, you said? Or I should order a tripod. Laugh <laughs> Uh Jim, this... <laughs> that's funny, according show. Uh, you ordered one? Nice. Jim, I ordered this from Aqua Decor. They're online. Uh, let's see if I. Oh, you ordered a tripod, not a background. I apologize. Yes, tripods will come in handy, man. I'm uh, struggling here without one. But let me uh, get a mess going on here. Let me see if I can find uh, the paperwork on these guys. There it is. Okay. This is uh, this is their their website if you guys want to check it out. Just an awesome company, very realistic, in my opinion, the best background company there is. Uh, what I have to go off of is this background and the the new one that I'm opening up. Half of it in the tank already. Yeah, Joey, I've seen Joey's, uh, the DIY Kings video on his. That's They're really nice, too. Uh, this background I received uh, before, right before, a little a couple months before he did his. After watching his, he, he's gotten so many of them. He gave me so many different ideas of what I want to do in the future. Uh, this 220-gallon one that I, that I got, I want to do something a little bit different. I gave them free reign on picking the color and pretty much everything I sent them a couple pictures and they they went at it so I'm pretty impressed with what they did I'm happy with what they did uh, since you came in late Jim I'll uh, guide you through this a little bit I know uh, in, in the background you have holes like in the rocks uh, it does you, you got to see it in person sometime but uh in the back you have these chambers that they cut into the background uh, and the water comes in through these holes that they create and then you put all of your plumbing your heater and everything in in, in the chambers on the left and right side they can also move these chambers in more over more i mean the, the options are endless with what they can do but this way you won't see any any of your filtration in this tank i all of my my plumbing pipes, fish are in the way here, but all of my my returns are hanging out there. I have an overhang rock that normally sits right there and you can't see those, but I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to move everything at one point. I just took that out for an hour so. But there's uh, the chamber on this one. Chambers are four by four, hopefully enough room to, for the FX. Oh yeah, four by four is plenty of room. This is my DIY, uh, my DIY stand I created for my FX6 filters. They say you're not supposed to put them on a side, you're supposed to put them underneath. I went over this in a few of my videos, so uh, I can explain it real quick again. Uh, I didn't have room on, underneath my cupboard for these because there's a, there's a middle brace right there, so I couldn't get it in and out. But 
these these filters are actually lower than the tank itself which is the most important part of these filters because they're gravity fed so what I did is I ran the pipe through the side I got to clean up some of these wires still and I have a bunch of stuff going on but this is I, I what I did is I created my own hard pipe and for this being on the side but what I'll do is I'll let me see if I have it I'm gonna grab one of the FX6 uh, intakes and then you can kind of get a get an idea and speaking of which the silicone that I use this is it right here I recommended it to Jim he's reselling a couple of his tanks too and he's using it now so it's working out pretty good for him but you want to make sure that when you buy this that it does not say mildew resistant because are mold resistant because the stuff that, that they put stuff inside of there inside of the silicone to make it mildew and mold resistant and when that happens uh, it'll pretty much just go into your tank water and kill your fish so make sure you get the right stuff but this is the silicone I use yep six dollars from Lowe's it's really good stuff uh, for this background, I only bought five of them because I, was, I wasn't I was going to put a large amount of silicone on here, but I changed my mind about it only because uh, Aka Decor contacted me. They seen my video and suggested that I do put enough silicone on there because they are bigger pieces. So, yep, <laughs> you said you learned the hard way. It sucks, but it's it's a simple fix, but it's hard to go through because you lose some fish in the process if you don't get the right stuff. But this is just one option. There's other, oh, there's my son, apologize. But there's other uh, aquarium silicone that you can buy, but I found that it's way, it's just more expensive than this stuff. And being how cheap it is, I mean, it's just, you're better off. But I gotta pick up a couple more. I wanna make sure I put enough on this background. Uh, where were we? I'm going to go inside this bin. But I don't know if you, there's, this, this freaking stand has so much room in it. Stuck this bin in here and it fits really easy, but we gotta do a review on the stand and this hood at some point. Try to see, I think I have the returns in here. I have a bunch of stuff. Try to get it out of here somehow. Where is it? Nope. Sorry. I swear my, my channel is probably the worst channel because I don't edit anything and I'm just like loud and just whatever but you guys get things how they are I guess <laughs> there we go okay I found it all right so we're gonna stick this down that chamber right there well, I'm gonna try hold on move this piece out of the way this way I don't crush it and open this hood i also made this this canopy on my own too which is nice but what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this canopy right off this canopy is really easy to deal with normally i have two hands right now i have one but it's very light made purposely light so that I can take it off on my own and not have to struggle with it. There we go. Move that right out of the way. And I have this light. Oop. It says I can't rotate the camera. This light flipped over because it's so, it's so bright. I got to get one of the, the dimmable ones for this tank too. Move this piece of glass forward, and all right, here we go. Fits right in there. See, go through a side shot, and that's with the got a glare going on. That's with the pipe that I have in there now, and the heater. So you have plenty. You'll have plenty of space in there. I don't know if that's going to help you much or. Yeah, you definitely have enough room. 
shake that off a little bit. All right. Did you uh, did you get a canopy with your tank two turtle? I might buy the seventy two inch aqua neat light. All right. So my suggestion, if you do buy the seventy two inch one. See, that's flipped over now, it's just super bright. I would buy the full spectrum, the one that you can dim, like the one I show you in my videos. They make the 72 inch version of that. And uh, yeah, I have a canopy. Okay, perfect. So what I would do is, I would, like I said, if you're gonna buy just one single light, make sure you buy the one that's programmable. Uh, it's, a, it's a couple dollars more, I think the one that's not as it goes anywhere from $60, sorry, I'm trying to find my remote here, but it goes anywhere from $60 to $69 for the non-programmable one, which is this, this exact light. And all it does is there's a button right here and it goes from white or blue. And it is really bright, the 10,000K. If you have to get one that is just like this, I would get a 6,500K instead of the 10,000. This one's so bright, it just washes their colors out a little bit. But these ones being programmable and being able to dim them, uh, you see here. I mean, you can start with any color. You don't have to use green or red, or if you want, you have a planet tank, you can use any, I mean, anything you want, if you find that you like the colors better. But they make this light in a 72 inch and it's $88, so spend a couple dollars more and you get the dimmable light. Or what I would do if I was you, is, which I already did and I wanna do again, is I got this light and, uh, and this one, which are both gonna be inside of this tank. Uh, these are both 36 inch aqua neat lights and I got them both for around $39 each, which saved me a little bit money and, uh, and I'm buying one full one and I can if you see my video I showed you you can you know make different sections of the tank different colors and do different things which is really nice to do I like it because I tend to see sorry I tend to see a lot of these fish choose like sometimes they pick sides and they just like to hang out some of them hang out here some of them hang out over here sometimes and you know if one's stressed and he likes to hang out on the right side you can kind of dim just that side so it's very very uh, nice to be able to do that it's not really necessary i guess dim this one down a little bit uh, nope. but you're able to be able to do all different things with it so i would split it up it's going to be a couple dollars cheaper and you're uh and you'll have the same effect and if one of your lights goes bad then you'll always have one available not that they would like i said he's i've had that uh, that other one for almost a year now give or take a couple months so but these guys will soon be going into the 125 once i get this 220 gallon going i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this tank in this room I, uh, made this room into a theater room and now it's turning into a fish room. <laughs> this hobby takes over, man. I also have a tank in my, my laundry room and I have a tank sitting on the floor right here. And I, I also have another tank in my, uh, in another room. Tanks everywhere at this point. <laughs> but this hobby is really, really addictive. The 220 is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. It's taken a lot of planning and a lot of work. This 220, uh, original, originally I wanted a 200, it was 265 gallon. And the only difference is it was a foot longer. So instead of six feet long, it was seven feet long. And, uh, and the glass, I think, was just a tad bit thicker. So, but I might paint my stand and canopy black. I like the way that looks. Yeah, it's... It's nice, it blends in. I personally, I like the white only because it stands out more, it's bright, but 
I think the black shows and will show the fish a little bit better in, in a darker area, so which is pretty much what you want anyways. I was going to paint this canopy in the, in the stand white, but I've decided against it. Only because there's, where, where it is, uh, I'm worried that my kids or my girlfriend's going to come walking down these stairs and ding it up or run into it anyways. My son likes to throw toys down the stairs. He's at that age, so uh, just get worried. If I paint it, if any scratches get on it, and it's white, it's going to show a lot more. Oh, the Pleco's doing great. Uh, I was going to do a video about this guy. So I met Jim off of Facebook. He was uh, he was giving away this Pleco. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Let me grab my flashlight again. But I met Jim, and he gave me this Pleco. I know he's more of a softwater fish, but he's doing pretty good in here. So, uh, yeah, you guys can't really get a really good view of him in there. But he's he's big. He likes hiding under there, and then after I turn the lights off, about 10 minutes later, he comes out. It's really cool. Yeah, he's doing really good. Eventually, when I get this tank up and running, I'll put him in here and have more places to hide. Thank you. Yeah, this sand was this sand was really cheap. This sand was. Uh, I think, yeah, it was from Lowe's. I think it was $3 a bag. I bought four bags or five bags. And I ended up with an extra bag. The only problem with this is my filter is always filled with sand, which is bad for these FX6s, but they can handle it. My plan is to take the sand out. And uh, the sand that Jimmy H recommended, he just picked a lot of it up. If you guys follow Jimmy H at all, you, you should check his channel out. But he recommended me the sand and I'm gonna end up buying it for here eventually uh, when I get this 220 going done that's when I'm gonna start working on all these other little projects and getting these tanks button, buttoned up a little bit Did you notice I got some LG in here I can get rid of it all and but I'm not I kind of like some of the natural look of it on the rocks but and it doesn't hurt to have it the Pleco likes eating it so that works out too. Yeah, I'm excited to get some of these pieces, some more of these pieces opened and going. This piece, I'm guessing, let's see. It's like no telling how these things sit. <laughs> I'm guessing it stands up like that possibly. Yeah, I don't know. Gonna, I might have to pull the whole background out just to put it together <laughs> just to be able to get it back in Oop, there's my son again but the cool thing about this this canopy oh yep closer to the door I get the more you're gonna hear them <laughs> sorry but the cool the cool thing about this canopy is it does open far enough surprisingly wish I had more lighting in here just to show you guys but it's kind of hard to see you were right in the last video the camera just doesn't pick up the size of the 220 I'm currently cycling mine and it just looks like a monster in my living room yes <laughs> it just it really doesn't I mean you see this tank and it just it's hard to really tell the size of it it looks small I, I mean it looks like a 75 gallon this is a 75 gallon so it's hard to really get a get a clear view of how big this tank is especially in a darker smaller basement area you know but it really does look small but it's a monster yes it is <laughs> but my 125 gallon looks huge in my room so i can only imagine a 220. i i didn't think it was going to look as big as it as it does i mean in person uh it just didn't seem that much of a difference in size when you figure 125 gallons to 220 gallons you know 95 more gallons it doesn't seem like a lot but but it is you know in theory it is when you see it in person 
I was I was upset for a while because I wanted the bigger tank, but I would have had to. I, I put this wall in right here so I can put this door in to have some kind of a sound barrier and uh, and just to block the basement off bit the basement off from the rest of the house. And because I put this wall up here, I wasn't able to get the seven foot tank by. I I know how to put walls up and take them down, all that good stuff, but. I didn't feel as if it was really necessary for me to accomplish what I was trying to accomplish because uh, no matter what tank I was buying, uh, I, I do plan on building one in the near future. And uh, my, my, my main plan was to take out these cabinets, take out this tank, take out everything in this whole area. And I was going to build and this whole wall was just going to be one giant fish tank. So it was going to be huge. I know it was over 540 gallons. And I'm still in the process of trying to figure things out, but I'm going to get there. I don't know if I'm going to end up selling this house or moving or what, but if we stay, it's definitely happening at some point. Flip this light back over. Yeah, that's how bright this tank is, or this light is. Now the light's facing up, so now you're gonna get all the glare from that. <laughs> this uh, this live, this YouTube live stuff is cool. I just wish the video quality was a little bit better. Because even looking at my camera right now, it's besides me moving around real fast, but the video quality is really choppy. But I'm bad at this stuff. I don't know how to edit videos. I, I've tried. I've went on different people's site asking, uh, I've asked Jay Wilson what he uses. He uses some iPhone uh, iMovie editing stuff right from his phone. I've tried stuff like that and the only thing that I've been able to accomplish with editing is I've been able to put pictures in with my videos and YouTube allows you when you upload a video, I don't know if you guys have tried, they give you some different types of instrumental musics that you can put at the beginning of your your video and that's about as far as my editing skills have been you'll ask your daughter what she uses thank you Jim I appreciate it uh, I mean I, I've tried I finally took me freaking almost a year now but let me try to come over here and grab this but I got a laptop finally so I have the ability to do a lot of different stuff so the editing takes time I have the time I don't mind doing it I just don't I don't know what it is I can build walls, do all this electronic stuff, and just do different things, but I just don't have the patience for, you know, for learning how to do it and the ability to learn how to do it. I don't, I don't know what it is. I sit there, I get frustrated, and I'm just like, yep, that's it. I'm just going to post the video the way it is. So I got to definitely put more time into it. I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out, and I'm glad, and hopefully I can help you guys out, you know, along your adventure of setting up your tanks and that's another reason why I like doing this I don't really like showing my face and going through all this you know self bullshit but I like to uh, just help out you said your background will uh, oh you, you they said your background will be done on the 22nd yes nice that's awesome so you should have it soon I, I i'm saying sometime first week of january or second or second week but you got to remember with the holidays uh it could be held up a little bit but you might get lucky you know one of my boxes came really fast the other was like two or three weeks down the road so just be patient it'll be there or <laughs> you got to remember to be patient that was like my main my main thing with with this background i was more excited about this background and I was nervous about this one, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was about this 220. Who cares about editing? Your videos are great. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I see. The problem is I, I watch a lot of these guys. Uh, I don't, I, I'm not going to throw names out there, but I watch a lot of these guys. They edit their videos. They have music. They do all this stuff. I'm just like, I want to do that so bad. And then I watch the video uh, I will throw one name out there again Jay Wilson. I watched one of his videos and he put out there don't half-ass stuff and You know put your whole heart into it and do all this stuff. I mean In a sense I was like, you know that guy's talking to me, but I'm trying I mean my heart is in this I'm doing what I'm doing for fun. It's a hobby it's something everybody has to understand too, you know I, 
I have a family, I have kids, I have a lot of stuff going on besides this, and I'm sure the same thing as everybody else. So I'm here to just watch my progress, look back. My kids can look back at this, you know, it's fun to do. Uh, I hope everything comes in at the same time for mine. Haha. <laughs> oh, it will. Yours should come in one box, I would imagine. And uh, don't don't stress it. it. They're really good at packing, as you see. There's no issues. This thing came. This was stuck in customs for all that time, and the box is in better shape than the last box was. So there's no issues with that. Like I said, just be patient. And they're there if you have any questions for them too. And if you if, if you don't want to ask them, man, I'm I'm here too. So just shoot me a comment and i'll and i'll respond as soon as i can it's all about the info not a perfectly edited video thank you jim i believe in that too uh i'm trying to i'm still new to uh i'm still a little new to freshwater my dad's always had different freshwater tanks i had my hand in salt water for a very long time and uh it was fun just so expensive and the, the funny thing is, is I had a little 40 gallon saltwater tank that sat right here. For the longest time, I had my light hanging from these two, these two uh, hooks right there that I put there. And that tank, what it cost me to set that up before fish, it cost me more money to set that tank up before fish than, it could, than I have into this tank in total right now, which is ridiculous. So saltwater can get expensive. <laughs> I get that. What time it will come? No rush. Yep. With time it will come. No rush. Sorry. Yes, it definitely will come. I, uh, like I said, don't get impatient like I was because you don't want to ruin it either. You know, this is aqua decor stuff is like nature. Like, I, I don't know if you read my comments and my comment for the, vi the first video unboxing that I did of this uh, for the first box. I put, you know, it's like getting nature in a box. It's just, it's an amazing adventure that you go on from the time you order it, you're excited, you know, what color is it going to be? What's it going to look like? And they're going to eventually, once, once it's done, they're going to email you pictures of it and make sure you approve it. You like it, you know, they're not going to send you something that you don't like. So, uh, so yeah, I got to go, man. Thanks for the videos. Keep it up. I'm ready to see what your 220 is going to look like and look like when it's finished product all right thank you man you appreciate it can't wait to show you this it'll be fun but like i said probably sometime late next week early weekend i'm going to silicone these pieces on here and if you missed the live show i will give you guys or i'm just going to upload it anyway so you'll see it no worries I want to open more of these up. It's just so hard to do it with the camera in my hands. I got to buy something. I need something to just like stick on my, my hat or my head and just wear the phone on my head while I do all this stuff. It'll be easier. Is there a reason? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I got to keep touching the phone when you comment because it disappears. So if I don't answer it away, I'm sorry. It says, is there a reason you didn't go with a 72 inch rather than the 236 inch lights on the 220? Yes. And you know what? It's just going to be easier since you guys are here uh, to just walk you through it all again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this light and I'm going to show you the prime example of why I did it. Did what I did. Uh, take you underneath here to my mess. He said this is all just kind of temporary too. But uh, find the light cord for this one, which is this. Okay, so we're going to take this light right off of here and put it back on the 220 and then I can give you some more examples. All right. Set the cord down. And you guys are gonna be blacked out for a second here. Hey, what's up? Sorry, for some reason it cut out again. Uh, no. The camera switched on me, so you guys are going to be able to see me for a second. <laughs> Apologize about that. Turn the camera back around. All right. 
hand. Let me get this. Hopefully you guys are all still there. If not, hopefully you come back. If not, again, you'll be able to watch this because I'm going to upload this video after. This is all just temporary, but the only problem with showing you guys this right now is I don't have the, the glass canopies in at the moment, so I can't really spread these lights out really far. Let me see what I can do here with that. Oops. the thingy oh well apologize give me one second and I will adjust these lights so you can understand a little bit more of what I did what I did hopefully they don't fall no more like it will just because I'm bad with this stuff okay there we go part of the light is in there now <laughs> but alright you guys are still there leave a leave a comment i apologize camera shaking around and my uh my internet gave out again for some reason i don't know what's up with that which is weird because my router is like 10 feet away from us but uh let's see the reason why i didn't get two lights is simply it, it was a couple dollars cheaper instead of buying one long light and the other, like the, the best part about this is you could dim one side of the tank to the other, you know. All right, cool. So, take you through it a little bit here. So the right side of the tank is really bright. The left side is pretty much blue. Uh, it's really hard to get an idea here because the light and anything with really bright lights with this camera is no, it's not really good. But plus with going live the quality like i said isn't as good uh, now i can't reach the other light controller in one second i gotta pull this uh this cordon there we go these lights have, these lights have sensors on them this thing with the 3M tape on is a sensor just dangling in there at the moment. But at least this way I'll give you an idea of what you can do. I mean, you can dim both sides, make the left side with other color, the right side whatever color. Uh, let's do the right red and the left white. It just gives you different effects. That's really all it is. Thank you, Jim. I'll see you soon, man. Yeah, all, all, all this light does with having two of them, it gives you two different effects on both sides. And like I was saying, if I want it, you know, if I have more fish that hang out in the right corner than the left, and I see that there's more aggression in the right, you could always dim down one side of the tank and not the other. Not that you need to have like a red light on the right and whatever. It's all preference is really all it is. Like I was explaining to you guys earlier, cichlids don't even really need light. That's kind of cool. I didn't think about that. Yep. I, uh, I was watching a video from Ben Ochart a while back, and he was, one of his lights broke. He bought a 72-inch light, and what happened is instead of replacing that light with another 72-inch light, he bought two smaller lights, and just in case one ever goes again, he'll always be able to still have a light on his tank. So having two lights is better than one, only because it still takes up the same amount of space, but it, uh, but if one ever breaks, you'll always have one. You know, you just never know what'll happen. I doubt one of your lights will break. You know, they're not gonna sell these things just for you to put them on your tank and they break. If they break, it's gotta be something you did or who knows. That's why there's warranties and stuff too. But yep, I uh, have a lot to do here. I gotta unbox all these. So like I said earlier, I'm cycling my 220 and trying to get an idea of what equipment to go with. 
That's very smart. Awesome. Uh, what, do, what are you putting in your 220? What kind of uh, what kind of fish are you gonna have? Now I got this like dim African cichlids, peacocks, and halves. Nice. Good choice. And great size tank for that too. Everybody says, go big when you first get your tank, you're gonna regret it. I can't say that I regret getting 125 gallon for my first cichlid tank. I think it's it's treated me pretty good. New to the African cichlid hobby, but not or new to the African cichlids, but not the hobby. I just upgraded from a 90 to a 220. Nice. Yeah, I'm new to them too. I'm I'm about a, almost a year into African cichlids. So far, I've had very few things happen that were negative. Just doing a lot of research on things. Nice. Yep, that's the way to go. Uh, the more research you do, the better off you are. But remember, don't overthink it. These guys are dirty. These are dirtier fish, so they can put up with a lot more. But uh, try to just go, go for it. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't stress about it too much. Do your research. Take care of your fish, and you'll be, you'll be all set. Your water is very important, so which I'm sure you're, you're aware of. I do weekly water changes on all my tanks. This one, sometimes I can, sometimes I let it go for at most two weeks only because I haven't had a really huge bio load in here and I have two FX6 filters running it. So yeah, my, 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 uh, my dad had a lot of fish tanks growing up in different African cichlids and that's what got me into doing a lot of this. So I knew knew quite a bit going into this, but uh, not enough. <laughs> There's never enough, I guess. Now I just gotta get this thing up and running. I usually do 50% every two weeks, nice. Yeah, it's ridiculous what I do. People would think I'm nuts. There's days where I'll do a week where I'll do 50%, and then sometimes I'll even go a little bit further. It just depends though. I like to feed a lot. Uh, not unhealthy feed, but I do like to feed a lot. But that's my main reason for doing as much as I do normally. Well, I used to not so, so sure about now. Hey turtle, you're back, nice. Yeah, 50% every two weeks. I mean, with the 220 gallon, lucky I only have betas. Nice. Betas are awesome. Uh, but with, with the 220 gallon, I would say to be safe, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do, uh, I can't even call it a 220 because I, which is another thing I have to measure how many gallons are actually going to be in this tank only because of this background taking up as much space as there is. So I gotta get a water meter to, to read how much water is gonna be in here to control everything I do. But the, I don't know, I would say, I would do one third every week in this with good filtration. Uh, and, that, and that should do it. So if I notice things getting out of hand or anything unusual, that's when I'll do a little bit more but that's what I'm gonna start with. But betas are cool. I had a couple betas. My uh, my girlfriend wanted them. We were at Walmart and you know, they were screaming at us as we were walking by, help me, help me. And we, 
picked up two of them, got them. She didn't want to take care of them. She didn't want to feed them. I found myself doing more work on those tanks than the tanks I have down here. So I ended up, uh, she didn't want anything else to do with them. So uh, my dad wanted a, a beta. So he got a beta. <laughs> but I've always wanted to do a planted tank and have like different types of neons and always wanted to have a beta and a planet tank with everything. I thought that would be really cool. I think I'm going to buy small. My LFS has them at a size, I would say about one and a half to two inches. They are just starting to show color. I just don't know how long they will take to grow out. Well, in a 220 gallon, if you're going to buy smaller fish, uh, especially haps I'd say these guys like this Rostratus he's anywhere from about two years old to a, to three years old somewhere in between there and he's about nine inches so saving for a new home so trying to fill the 220 with 50 dollar fish is hard so I think I'm going to start with them small yes uh, I 100% I agree with you these fish get expensive and there's something I wanted to talk about with that. I was going to make a video just dedicated to that, but I'm kind of going against that because I might sound like an like an a hole when I when I talk about it. Uh, but yeah, these these guys I'll explain that in a second. But these guys all started out small. They're still small, and I've ordered from Imperial Tropicals a lot of these guys, and they're forty five dollars to fifty dollars with free shipping, and you can get a ton of fish. So. The other, the other site you should check out is Tampa Bay Cichlids. They, they had some really, really cool smaller fish and haps that you can grow out and you would love them. I mean, you can buy pears, you can buy guaranteed mels, and if they don't grow, out to be, grow up to be mels, they'll replace it with a mel. So I have an order from Tampa, but I'm, I'm thinking about placing an order sometime in the near future. But yeah, for my understanding, oh, looks like everybody left. Oh, well, but one thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, eventually in a video is that still here, a turtle, nice. One thing I wanted to mention about these fish is Lake Malawi. If you guys do your research on the lakes themselves, don't just do your research on the fish. Do you do some research on the lakes that they come from? I mean, I have books on different types of fish and different lakes and that my biggest thing is Lake Malawi has more freshwater fish than any other freshwater body of water combined. So, think about that for a second. And and mark my words, I guarantee it. You can watch different videos and do your research on that. So if that being said is the case, why are these fish, you know, $50, $60, why are they so expensive when there's a, an abundance of them? And you got to tell yourself that. And then you watch videos with people saying, oh, you know, support your LFS, support online stores, support all these different places and, uh, and order their fish. Well, if this fish is going to be $100 on one site and then $50 on another site, are you going to spend $50 or $100? You know, are you going to spend $100 to support that site? No, you're not going to do that because, you know, you have your own self-branding uh, too, you know, your self-worth. You know, you have to work for your money. You go out and do what you need to do. Yes, you want to support these stores and support all these people, but, you know, you need to support yourself first. And buying a fish for $50 to $100 that comes out of a lake that has more fish in there than any body of water uh, combined that's a little ridiculous you know when there's other fish that are just as beautiful that are a lot cheaper so this hobby does get confusing when you do some research and it can get frustrating at all at the same time so it's really something that you have to love doing and you have to love these fish in order to want them i guess you know because anybody can walk into a fish store and say oh that fish is nice i want it but in order to pay for that fish and take care of that fish it, it, a lot more goes into it so you're right by doing research but also research lake malawi it'll it'll help you a little bit too in understanding that 
still here that's the route I was looking to go I'm just afraid that as they grow from small I won't get the super color I want I've read about the quality food I already bought Northfin and plenty of water change well that's so true never thought about that yeah a lot of a lot of people don't talk about that though no they don't uh, I, like I said I was gonna dedicate an entire video to you know people dedicate videos to different types of things like support your LFS and support online well there's self-branding too you know self-worth and, and your money that you work hard for like you said you know I don't know you from anywhere in the world you know I'm, I met you here on YouTube and I feel exactly how you feel about these fish being as expensive as they are so what I did is I did some research and by knowing what I know uh, it, it drives you a little crazy but there's also another side of it too you know your local fish store your you know the, your favorite place to order online or you're trying to order online from a place uh, that has uh, I don't know let's say uh, your linny uh, let's say they have your linny there and they have them in a one inch to two inch and they're cheaper you buy them buy more than one or two you buy five or more you get get them for cheaper or if you buy a six inch version of him or five inch version he's sixty dollars now I can respect it and understand it because it took him two years to grow him out two or three years to that size and that's a lot of feeding a lot of electricity and a lot of water you being used so there, there's a there is other thought processes that go into it but it still doesn't make sense I mean they're, they're making quite a bit of money off of these fish but they're doing a lot of work work that me and you and everybody else isn't willing to put in so and that's just one fish remember one fish <laughs> there's a lot of fish in the sea <laughs> But yeah, buy them small, man. I was, I was, I had the same thought process. I started buying them small, and it's really fun to watch them grow too. You start watching changes, you get excited. You know, from one week to another, they go through a growth spurt. If you do videos, when you do your videos, you'll be able to look back and see how much they've grown. It's, 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 it's a fun thing to do. But if I get the opportunity, I'm going to be ordering a bunch of a bunch of small fish. Uh, on Black Friday, I was going to order about I don't know, I'd say like two hundred dollars in, in fish, and it was worth it because you got like twenty or twenty five percent off. And I was going to receive how many fish was that? I want to say it was like over thirty fish for two hundred dollars. Now, if I was to buy these bigger guys for two hundred dollars, I'm looking at getting like two or three of these guys. It's ridiculous. Good. Yeah, you're better off. Two twenty yellow is huge too, so it shouldn't take them too long to grow. Made a mess of everything here, but I guess they're going through a lot of this stuff too. back in here for now there we go i gotta move all of this stuff out of here i gotta move this whole freaking stand so we get this tank off and my big thing right now is shimming this tank i have to shim the entire middle with these uh these plastic shims in the front and in the back I have no problem shimming it in the front, but the back is a whole nother situation because I can't really get back there to shim it. Even if I go through the doors to do it, I'll have to like cut each piece and hopefully it fits. If not, then cut again. It could be a nightmare. So when I take this tank off, I'm gonna shim the stand right in place. That's why I'm gonna need a couple guys because we're gonna have to put this tank on the stand in place. And this side is open, so normally the tank just slides on so that you can get your hands out of there. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain to do that. But I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'm 
But all right, you guys got any more questions or anything? I am probably gonna get going here shortly. I'm gonna open all these pieces up, like I said, and uh, eventually I'm gonna put the whole thing together and check it out, try a different, a couple different things with it. And next time I will be going live will be later this week or sometime uh, later next week or sometime early uh, early next weekend. I want to put this whole background in live for you guys and show you how to do it. I'm just going to do the whole thing for you guys, take you through it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out and watching and appreciate it, man. Hope I answered a lot of your questions. Like I said, I'm like it or not, what I have to say about the whole Lake Malawi and the amount of fish that are in there and the cost of them, I'm just straight up front, man. It's all I'm trying to do and no reason not to be. But uh, but yeah, next week I'll be siliconing this in there and hopefully getting this getting this ready for you guys. Following week, I'm going to get some water in there and I'm going to drain it probably twice. Let it sit in there. Drain it, sit in there again, and then drain it, and then get the sand in there. But, uh, but yeah, sometime between now and that video, I'm, I'm hoping to do a review on this this hood and the stand, the RJ Enterprises setup. I've read a lot, of, some bad reviews online about them, and some good reviews, and I don't see that many people with them, and I don't see any YouTube reviews on them. So, hoping to give you guys a good review, maybe get some better lighting in here. So that you can see the stand and the canopy better for when I do that video. But alright. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to upload this video. So if you guys got any more questions, leave some comments. I'm going to finish opening this up now. And then I have some things I have to go take care of. So I will see you guys in the next one.